Good morning and welcome to science. Hello, I see everybody is getting the hang in on time, even a minute early, which is amazing. You guys are all coming in and ready. Good job, you guys, for being on time. Can everybody find the chat area and your name for me? Type in your name, please, while we wait for the rest of our students to be in live. What? Okay. Hello. Good morning. Can everybody chat for me, please? Is it working? Yeah. I'm going to mute everybody. So we're going to use our chat in the right hand corner, like we did yesterday. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Wait. Uh, yes, Alyssa. How long are we going to be doing? How long are we going to be doing online school for? So our online school, it just depends. That's a great question. It is unknown right now. The reason why it's unknown is because everything is changing. So we will give you guys, we'll give your parents as much information, but we're going to be doing online school until the virus is contained and we can come back to class. Okay. But for the next few weeks, we're going to be online, okay? Okay. Because my, um, my mom read something that said uh, about like schools are going to be closed down to like fall. Yes, so we do not know. A lot of um, new things are coming out every single day. So we're going to keep your parents informed. So just have them, they'll be looking at their emails. But that was a very good question. All right, so welcome to science. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me exactly what we learned yesterday or the topic that we learned yesterday? Natalie. We learned about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, that is correct. Um, can you describe photosynthesis for me, Natalie? Um, photosynthesis. Wait. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants make their own food using sun, um, CO2, and water producing oxygen and glucose. Yeah, that is exactly the right answer. Good job, Natalie. I thought you were looking down where you looked at your notes. Yeah. That's very resourceful. So every single time, you guys, if I ask you a question, you are more than welcome to look at your notes. That is highly encouraged, okay? Can everybody give me a thumbs up and a nod? All right. So I'm muting everybody just to make sure there's no echo, okay? But if I ask you a question, you guys can unmute yourself in the lower right-hand corner if I am not able to, okay? All right. So welcome to science. I know this is your third day in a row now. We are going to be doing some review about Photosynthesis. So I want to go back over those 12 steps. So can somebody, let me see, I'm going to just call on you guys. If you guys can all take out your papers from yesterday, we're going to go over those 12 steps. I really want to make sure that you guys understand the root word photosynthesis and what it means and all the other little um, words in that vocabulary and what they mean, okay? So if can everybody get out their 12 steps and I'm going to call on each individual, I'm going to have you guys type your answers because I want you guys to learn also how to use the computer and I know you guys are very good. I see someone's raising their hand, but I'm going to keep continue talking until I'm done, okay? I'll get it. Sawyer, if you have a question, just type in the right hand chat and I will answer, okay? Um, this is going to how it's going to go, okay? So every time you guys have a question, you can either text the whole class in the chat, or you can just specifically send it to me. So if you have a personal question and you don't want to have the whole entire class know, there's a button to do that, where it's at the very bottom where you're going to type, if everybody can look, right there. It's called, 
it says everyone right now, but if you want to just specifically have it to me, you can just click my name, okay? All right. So if you only got to step seven, that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to do is I'm also, that's why we're going to review. If you only got to, if you weren't here yesterday, that is also fine. And we will go over, okay? So if everybody can take out their notes, I see a few more people are new. Good morning, good morning. We have a big class today. We are talking about photosynthesis for those that are new. We're gonna go over the 12 steps. I went over them yesterday, but I'm gonna re-go over them today. I'm gonna type it in that chat bubble that I just talked about, okay? So if you're new, I just want you to write them down, okay? And you can also listen. So step one. This is the first one. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. So if anybody did not, if anybody did not write it down, you'll be able to write it down right now, okay? So in the chat bubble, I see you guys are talking. That is, that is amazing. But I want to make sure that you guys are talking about school, okay? I don't want you going off topic, okay? Or else I'm going to make sure that you guys don't use that chat bubble, which I don't want to have to do because I think this is important for us to have group discussions, okay? If everybody understands, give me a nod. Good job. Also, my name is Katie. Miss Katie, if anybody does not know. So if you want to address me as just Katie or Miss Katie, that is perfectly fine, okay? Um, or you could just chat. Okay, so step one, I just put it in the group chat for those who are new, but I want to see, let's have Mia. Yes. Mia, do you want to answer or tell me what step one was? Okay. Step one is... The sunlight passes through the top layer of the leaves. Right. So the sunlight passes through the top layer of the leaves. I have a little plant here. I'm not sure if I showed them to you yesterday, but I'm going to go get it. So I have a few plants here that we were doing in the Anaheim location. They are, so this one is Mia's specific plant with coals. Look at how large it's gotten. Mia, do you remember when it was only this big? So this is the plant. So the first step is the sunlight is shining and it passes through the leaves, the top layer of the leaves, right? Good. First one, step two. Can anybody, can everybody type step two for me in the chat box? And I'm going to Ask one person. Okay. Let's have Sienna. Do you want to type in the chat box or do you want to say it out loud, Sienna? I'll type it. Okay. Good job. Um, Sawyer, you had a question. I will answer your question now. Do you have a question, Sawyer? Oh, no, I don't. I'm good now. Okay. If anybody has a question, type it in the chat box or raise your hand. If I don't see you right away, just keep raising your hand and I will get to you, okay? Um, I will also frequently stop and ask if anybody has questions because I think it's important that we're all on the same page. All right, so step two. Good job. So step two is the chlorophyll traps that light energy. So the first one is it, it shines. The sunlight passes through the top layer of the leaves and then it gets trapped. That's the second. What is chlorophyll? Can you guys raise your hands? And I'm going to call on somebody. I said it a few times yesterday. I didn't have you guys write it down, but I'm going to have you guys write it down today. Anybody know? I see it. Some I forgot. Yes, Kyle. Um, what it does is basically it's the plant sugar. Yes, exactly. So chlorophyll, I'm going to type it in this chat right now. It's the chemical that allows the plants. So you see all these in the leaf, all these little areas right here. 
So the, there's chlorophyll in there, that's the chemical that allows the plants to make their own food from water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide. Yeah. I see some of you guys are going ahead and already on step four. I wanna make sure we're all in the same process, okay? So I just sent out, ooh, I sent that to just Aston. I'm gonna make sure everybody gets the definition of chlorophyll, but good job, Kyle, that was right. It's how they, it's the chemical that allows the plants to absorb sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their food. Good. The next one, step three. Can somebody raise their hand for step three? Step three, anybody? I want you guys to have your notes out. I see a few people raising their hands, but if everybody has their notes out, everybody should be raising their hands, okay? If you're new, you are perfectly fine, but I think I see some people who are here and are not raising their hands. So I really wanna make sure that you guys have your notes out. All right, Karina. The roots take water. Yeah, the roots take the water. Good. Step four, I see Brooke is already on, she already said step four. What is step four since Brooke already wrote it? I'm gonna ask Brooke. The water flows through the plants. Right, the water flows through the plants. So I just reposted, the water flows through the plants xylem. So when you look at, so there's two plants in here. We today or tomorrow, depending on our time, are going to actually take these out of this tiny cup because they're getting bigger. Can you see how much bigger they've gotten? They need more space. So we'll do that next. But step five, can somebody tell me? I see Aston has already said step five. Where is Aston? Yes, Alyssa. Uh, step five is carbon dioxide enters the plant through the stomata. The stomata. Can everybody stomata. say stomata? stomata? Even though I turned you guys on mute, I still want you guys to know these words. Stomata. Stomata. Good. Let's go on to the next step. Step six, good, Aston is on step six. Let's have Sienna. So I'm gonna unmute you. Right, Sienna, step six, please. Carbon dioxide travels to the chloroplast. Right. It travels to the chloroplast. Do you guys remember what the chloroplast is? Anybody remember or write it down? I'm gonna also put this in the chat. So chloroplast is the part of the plant cell that contains chlorophyll, which is chlorophyll, remember, is the chemical that allows plants to make their food for photosynthesis. Um, yes, I see someone raising their hand, but I, let's see, your name is Rena? Uh, Saya. What was your name? Saya. Saya, okay. Do we have to write all these steps on our paper? Yes, if you were not here yeah. the other day, then yes, I do want you to have them on the paper. Mm -hmm. Good, step six. So I'm gonna post what, or I'm gonna add what chlorophyll, oh, Henry got away, there we go. I'm gonna uh, um, add chloroplast, sorry, not chlorophyll chloroplast. I want you guys to make sure you have chlorophyll and chloroplast because that's very important when you're talking about photosynthesis. Good. Next, we are going to do step seven. Anybody want to raise their hand for step seven? Natalie. Uh, the trapped light energy splits the water into oxygen and hydrogen. Good. Step eight. Yes, Natalie, do you want to go again? The hydrogen joins with carbon dioxide to make sugar. Yeah, the hydrogen, it joins with the carbon dioxide to make the sugar, okay? So when plants breathe in, they are taking the CO2. So the hydrogen and oxygen are splitting up. 
and the hydrogen joins with the carbon dioxide to make the sugar. Good. Let's do step eight. Oh, sorry, that was step eight. Let's do step nine. Yes, Natalie, do you want to go again? <laughs> sugar travels through the phlegm to carry sugar to the rest of the plant. So sugar travels through the phylum. Can everybody say phylum? Phylum. Phylum. A lot of you guys are on mute, so we only hear Natalie right now, but phylum. I want to make sure you guys know all these words. Yes, Brooke. Can I do step 10? You want to do step 10? Yeah, perfect. Do step 10 for me. Um, plants get energy from the food and then sugar. They produce, they produce. They are producers. Yeah, plants are producers. What do they produce? Sugar. They produce sugar. What else do they produce? Um, oh. Can anybody guess what they produce? I'm gonna go with someone else, Natalie. Let's call on Kyle. Go oh, come in on the show, Stoy. They um, take in CO2 and they expel oxygen. Good, they produce oxygen. And why is it important that they produce oxygen? Because we breathe that. We breathe that, yes. That is the air that we intake and it makes our human life. So is it very important that we have Plants and trees. Yes. What is the point of the difference from a plant and a flower? Somebody can raise their hand or type in the little chat button. Yes, Natalie. Um, uh, a plant has pollen and their producers and a tree. You're so close. You're on the right track. I was looking for that word pollen. You did say pollen, which is great, but the flower has the pollen. So we can go over the flower in a second, but the flower has the pollen and that's when the bees and the bugs and the insects, they go on to that pollen and they're looking for the honey. That is what they as a place for taking that pollen if it's onto them. And then when they fly around or they go around, it pollinates and it spreads, so more flowers grow, so more trees grow, so it spreads the seeds. Yes, Alyssa. Can you text on the group chat, uh, step eight, uh, nine, 10, and 11, yes. and 12? I'll put step eight, I'll do it slowly. Okay, step eight, thank you. The hydrogen joins with the carbon dioxide. Okay. Step nine is the sugar travels through the phylum to carry the sugar to the rest of the plant. And step 10 is the plant gets energy from the food, which is created sugar, and then they produce oxygen. That's why they also produce flowers of pollen. Good. All right, so now let's go to step 11. I want somebody to raise their hand and say it verbally for me, not just in our chat. I'll also put it in the chat. Let's go with someone else, Natalie. I know you're raising your hand. Let's go with someone else. I want to call on someone that hasn't been called on. Mia. Step 11. Mm hmm Plant break, plant break down the, plants break down the sugar. This is called reception. Respiration. So it's called respiration, good. I see we have a few more students still coming into our group. So hi to those who are new to our group. If you look in our chat, we have gone over the 11 steps. Okay, so I wanna make sure you guys see in the chat what we're talking about. Hi. Hello, uh, good to meet you. I'm gonna mute everybody and if I wait, um I'm I'm actually in fifth grade. I joined here because fifth grade wasn't working. So Okay, let me tell someone right now. So I'll give you a quick hold. If you want, 
your parent is going to get an email right now. What is your name? Ricky? Ricky. Yeah. Okay, your parent's going to get an email right now. So I'm going to pause the class for one second. Ricky. All right, Ricky, you are set. They're gonna email you right now. If you wanna stay in my class, you can stay in my class or you can wait for the email. But right now we are talking about photosynthesis and the 12 steps. So we're on the last step, but if you look in the chat button or the chat bubble down right here in the right hand corner, it shows I'm putting the 12th step right now. If you wanna look at that. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let's have a cutest reaction. Brooke, do you want to read 12 step for me? Or sure. 12 for me? The plant reacts um, since from the water they take in through the stomach. This is called transpiration. So let me say it again. The plant releases some of the water that they take through the stomata. So stomata, not the stomach, the stomata, but you're so close. This is called transpiration. Good. So we have respiration, transpiration. You guys also remember chloroplast, chlorophyll. Interesting. Those are all a whole bunch of different words that you guys probably have not learned or, or that you have learned but are new. Um, so what does the word photo mean? For photosynthesis, what does the word photo mean? Somebody raise their hand. I see Brooke's hand raised. I want to see another hand. Brayden, do you want to answer this? No? Okay, Kyle. Photo, I'll give you a hint. When you're taking a photo on an iPhone or on a camera or just an anything, if it's dark, you want to turn on the light the light photo means light what does synthesis mean i'm gonna ask you again kyle what does synthesis dark. Mean? dark no so if you think photo is the first part synthesis so we have light and plants putting together so light putting together that is what photosynthesis means or photo and synthesis good can somebody define the word photosynthesis, not through the roots of the words, but the definition? I know we said it a minute ago, but I wanna make sure you guys, I wanna keep reiterating what photosynthesis means. I wanna see a hand, a new hand. Mia. Sorry, unmute. Um, Button isn't working. Um, light together. Light together. Yeah, that's correct. So those are the root words. Photo means light and synthesis means to put together. But does anybody have the actual definition that we went over? Yes, Natalie. Photosynthesis the process in which plants make their own food using carbon dioxide and water producing oxygen and glucose. Good. Right. So now we're going to go back over the plant. So we talked about the process of photosynthesis, but now we're just going to talk about it. Okay. Let's see, what's the first thing that you guys can see? I'm going to unmute everybody and you guys can just say them all out loud when I tell you. We're going to go from the bottom and go oh, man, why did I'm going to unmute you. But it's important when you guys are unmuted that you guys don't make too much noise or else it's going to echo, okay? Yes, Brayden. Um, I need to leave at 1027. Okay, if you need to leave, you can exit out. That's okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the plan. Let's start with the bottom. What do you see down here? Dirt. Dirt. Dirt? Okay. Soil. 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 The soil. The soil. The dirt and soil. Soil is what plants are in and dirt is. Oh, roots? Okay. We're still on soil. I just said that's the difference between soil and dirt. Soil and roots. 
my nature is my nature. So. Maybe so it feels more um, moist. More dry. Moist. Okay. So there's more nutrients in soil. Nutrients. Yes. Soil has the nutrients. The plants need nutrients, just like they need water, just like they need carbon dioxide. They need nutrients to grow. If they don't get the proper nutrients, they will not grow. In the plant. We have the soil. What's in the soil? I heard someone say it earlier. Roots. 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 You guys see the roots? Yeah. So they're growing. There's so many roots in here that I'm going to have to take this out of this confined cup, right? Oh. This is supposed to be a sunflower. A sunflower is going to get big. Can it, a sunflower get really big inside of this little cup? No. 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 So what is it going to need? More? Uh, space. Uh, space. Space. Good. It needs more space. So the more space it has, the more the roots can dig down and be able to absorb the nutrients farther and more water is going to be needed. And the farther plants go up because they want the sun, they're trying to get to the sun and the leaves go out so they can get all of the sun, just like our plant dates. What's next? What do we see right here? What is this? Stem. 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 Good. I'm going to mute you guys because I can hear some noises. The stem. Good. What's on the stem? What is something green that's on the stem? Leaves. Brooke, what's the green? Leaves. Leaves. Good. What is inside of a leaf, Del leaf Delilah? Do you remember? Starts with a C. Kyle. Um, chloroform. No, chlorophyll. not chloroform. Chlorophyll. Good. Chlorophyll. Do you remember the definition of chlorophyll? Uh, sugar for the plant. Sugar, cloves, pretty much. But what is chlorophyll? If you want to go back into our group chat, you can see the definition. I want you to go back in. Everybody go back into the group chat. Scroll up to see where I put chlorophyll in the definition. I want you guys to use your resources of this group chat. And I'm going to call on Alyssa. Uh, I actually don't know because it just locked me out before, so it doesn't show that anymore. It doesn't show it. Okay, so if you no. down, if you want to get back in the group chat, right when you move your cursor, at the bottom it says, oh, there's a little bubble that says chat. So if you yeah. click on that, it'll pop up to the right side again. I know, but it doesn't show that. I It shows chat. I'm in the chat box. Just it doesn't show the rest of the text messages. Okay, so make sure that you're in the group of uh, named everybody, not in a specific group. If you're in the group that says everybody, you will be able to bring back all of your discussion, okay? So clearly. No. I'm in it, but it's not working. It's not always, because if you get X'd out, then it, does, it then it clears everything, and then it, when you come back, yeah. it's only what was there. It's only. Okay, so make sure that you guys have good Wi-Fi and good connection. That way, you guys don't get X'd out, okay? Also, make sure that your laptops and all that is on a charger because once you get X'd out, like we now know, Alyssa, thank you for your feedback. You are not able to see the rest of the chat, okay? So chlorophyll, I'll say it. It's the chemical that allows the plants and the leaves to make their own food from the water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide. We've already said the food turns into sugar for them. Good. All right, Sawyer, what else do you see? Or what do you see that's not on the plant the plant needs? Sunlight. Sunlight, mm-hmm. Plants can't grow without sun. If you try and, if I put this into a dark, dark closet, do you think it's gonna sprout into this flower, the sunflower? No, it's not. It's gonna wilt. It's gonna wilt, right? I saw some of you go like that because I did it. <laughs> Good. It needs sunlight. What else starts with a W? Raise your hand and I'll call on you. Sawyer. Water. Water, right. Needs water. So just like it needs nutrients, just like it needs sunlight, just like it needs space, it needs water. Yes, 
Mia. Yes, Mia. It also needs carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, correct. So just like we breathe in oxygen, we exert carbon dioxide. Plants take in or carbon dioxide and they exert oxygen. That's why plants are so important. All right, good job. So now I want everybody to, we're gonna do the plant dance. Everybody step back from your computer and make sure you have a lot of space to move around. If you're new and have not done the plant dance, I'll go over it slowly, but it's gonna go faster and faster and faster, okay? I'm gonna wait till Mia comes back into the room so we can all do the plant dance. So if you want to just take a second, if you're still writing down everything in the chat, that is fine. But if you wanna take a break from writing, you guys can take a break, ready? I'm gonna do it sitting. Ready? Flowers. Stem, point at your neck. Leaves. Go out. Wide, wide. And roots down to the floor. Sun. Shower. Water. Seed. Flower. Good, it's going to go faster. Ready? Flower. Stem. Leaves. <laughs> and roots down to the floor. Sun. Water. Seed. To the flower. Faster. You guys are doing amazing. Good job. Do you guys want to do it again? Give me a head nod if you want to do it again. I see 90 people, 90% 90 of the people are saying it again. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Ready? Flowers, stem. Leaves, spread out, get all the sun. And roots, go to the floor, you gotta dig in. But you need the sun and water because it's gonna make a seed, which goes into the flower faster. Down the floor. Faster. I saw all of you guys dancing. Now you guys know exactly what flowers need and exactly what plants need. We are reviewing today. I wanna to make sure you guys understand these 12 steps, okay? So I'm going to call on and I'm gonna randomize these steps. But all of you guys have your notes. And I want you guys to use these notes as your resources. So when I ask you, okay? You're going to know the answer. Yes, I see them raising their hands. I didn't know I was supposed to write all of this. Okay, well that's okay. It's still in the chat. If you want to start writing it right now, that's would be fine. Do you see it in the chat? What? Do you see it in the chat? Yeah, I can see the chat, but I just didn't know if I was supposed to write it or not. Okay, yes. If you are new, you are supposed to write it. Hi, Thomas. Welcome to Happy. We are talking about photosynthesis. And you're going to be writing the steps. Okay. So for, I'm going to go slowly. Let's see. 
First person I want is Kyle. Let's do step five. Step five. What is step five? Uh, step five is carbon dioxide enters the plant stoma. At stomata? Stomata. 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 Let's do Natalie. I want you to do step eight. The hydrogen joins with carbon dioxide to make sugar. Good. Aston. I want you to do, oops. I want you to do step 12. The last step. Step 12 is, oh, I didn't um, write that one down. Okay, so if you didn't write them down, you guys can use this time right now to write them down, okay? If I call on you, you can say, I didn't write it down. That's perfectly fine, okay? If you, I would rather you guys have them written down, okay? Yes, I see a hand raised. Um, number one isn't on the chat. Number one isn't on the chat. Okay, are you sure? Let's go back. I put, so step one, the sunlight passing through the leaves. I'm going to put it on right now. There you go. Okay. That is step one. Oh, I sent that one. Okay. Okay, I just put that in the chat. Step one, the sunlight passes. Sunlight passes through the leaf. Good. All right, let's do Henry. Welcome, Henry. Step two. Uh, the chlorophyll traps energy from the sunlight. Good. Let's do Mia. Mia, can you do step? Not unmuting. So if I'm having trouble mute, unmuting, can you just point in the left-hand corner? There's an unmute button that you can press. There you go. Mia, let's do step two. Step two, Mia. Um, the curl file by traps the light energy. Good. Sienna, do you want to do step, let's do step nine. You know everything is clear. Step nine. Step nine. Step nine. Sugar travels through the phylum. Phylum. Carry sugar to the rest of the plant. Good. Yeah, sugar travels through the phylum to carry sugar to the rest of the plant. Let's do step 11. Alyssa. Um, I didn't, I couldn't write it down because I couldn't see it in the chat. Okay, I'm going to repost it in the chat right now. If you guys want me to re, do you want me to put all of them re in the chat, Alyssa? Wait, what? You want me to put all the steps in the chat? I just need step eight to 12. Okay, eight to 12. I'll put that in right now for you. Thank you. If you guys have any questions like this, just please let me know and I will put them in, okay? Yes, Delilah. Yes, Delilah? Did you have a question? Or were you just stretching? Can I grab my thing? notes? You what? Grab my notes. Yeah, of course. I want you guys to, of course, you guys can grab your notes. If you ever need water or need to go to the bathroom, you don't need to take a computer. You could just raise your hand or just type in the chat saying bathroom or we can do sign language, water, or restroom, okay? 
I have a lot of. You don't have to ask, okay? You guys can get up and do that yourself. I have a bunch of water. Good job. All right, so I put up to 11. Let me put the last one. 12. There you go. Good job, you guys. You guys are doing amazing. Yes, Kyle. All right, step 12. There you go. Let's do hmm, Henry. If you guys need to go to the bathroom, just go like this. It's an R in sign language and just shake it like restroom. And you guys are more than welcome to just be able to go, okay? You don't have to ask for permission when we're on online, okay? Thank you. It's different than in the classroom. Okay, so Henry, let's have you say step 11. Plants break down the sugar. It is called transportation. Good. For those of you who, for those of you guys who are done, what I'm going to have you guys do is take out either a blank piece of paper or you guys can write it. Yes, Aston. Um, can we read? You want to read? Okay, so we're almost done. I'm going to have you guys draw a part of the plant for the next five minutes. Like that. I'm going to draw it on the board as well. You can either copy me or draw it. I wrote all of it down. I want to make sure that you guys, if you're writing, you guys continue writing all the steps. If you're done writing, I want you drawing a picture of the plant. So the main parts of the plant was soil. You're going to label soil, yes, roots, stem, leaf. This is going to have a flower in the end. So we're going to do either a flower on the top or you can just leave it as a plant. Okay? Then we're also going to be doing water, air, carbon dioxide, and space. I want you to put all of those on your picture, okay? Yes, Brooke. You're a little glitchy. I'm a little glitchy? Okay, maybe I'll just try and stop moving so much. Okay, mm -hmm. so for those of you, Kyle, you just got back. Kyle, so what we're doing right now, Kyle, so what we're doing right now is if you guys are done writing the 12 steps, we're gonna be drawing a picture of your plant. So Kyle, this one actually is not your plant. This one is Mia's. We have Mia's and Cole. I will go get your plant, Kyle, to show you what it looks like. We have all these different sunflower plants. Let's see. Cherry, Thomas, Karina. Kyle, do you remember what you named your plant? Because I don't see your name on these. Did you name it something? What'd you name it? Uh, K, if there's a KBB and a Gavin, like something. KBB. There's your plant. Look at, it's sprouting. Look how many leaves there are. Do you remember when it was just a seed? So it starts um, off just a seed, this little tiny, tiny, tiny seed. What I did with another teacher is we called germinating. So what we did was we put the seed inside of a paper towel that was wet. So all it needed was the water to absorb. It sprouted one root, just one root. And then we were able to get a cup put some soil in and put a whole bunch of water and put one or two inside the cup. And after sunlight, a few weeks, this is probably, these plants are four or five weeks being inside these, or since we germinated them. And now there's leaves. And later on, I'm going to be transferring them into a bigger space so they are able to grow because they need space and they need more soil in order to grow and for their roots to grow. Yes, Mia. Can I write it in my sunflower journal? You can write in your sunflower journal, yeah. If those of you that were in my last class and have their sunflower journals, let's see, this one, Mia, yours one. Right here. So. There's two in this one, so I'm not sure which one was yours, Mia. 
but look how much bigger they are, right? Right. Can everybody see that? And look at the difference. This one is smaller than this one, but they're, they were planted and germinated at the same time. This one is getting a lot more sunlight. It's stretching out to the sunlight. It's kind of like show up. It's going to stretch straight to the sun. And the reason for that is because they want to grow. So the more that they grow, is the more they can grow the sun. So this one has a lot of roots. And this one has a smaller root. So when you have a flower or a plant, the root size and the root growth is almost the same size as the plant. But right now, since it's only confined in the small area, the roots are starting to go and ramp together. That's why they need space. So we're gonna replant these, or I will replant these, and show you next science class, okay? But Mia, this one is yours, look at that. When I handed these out, these were just this big. And now it's this big. Has anybody ever heard of, if you guys have heard of this, you can raise your hand. But people, some people talk to their plants and tell their plants stories and sing to their plants because they think that it helps them grow. Give me a head nod if you've ever heard that before. If talking to your plants helps them grow. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. It does. You wanna know why? What am I exerting right now? When I'm talking or singing? CO2. 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 Right, carbon dioxide. And what do plants breathe? Kyle, what do plants breathe? Carbon dioxide. Good, carbon dioxide. So when you're talking to your plant and breathing on them, you're exerting the CO2, which is actually what they absorb. So when you talk to your plants and you sing to your plants and you're around your plants, having fun with your plants, it is actually helping them grow. So everybody go around and talk to all your plants today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, unless you want to. Okay, we're gonna do the plant dance to end today, okay? If you guys are still writing, continue. If you're still drawing, you can continue. If you're done, you can join me, okay? questions today I see one hand up yes Natalie you want to mm -hmm. um, the drawing we what are the like features we have to have on it like what so I want you guys if you're drawing you guys are going to talk about this or you're going to label when you guys label you just have let's say this is Flower, the leaves, inside of a cup, the soil, you have roots. I want to label it so you're going to label this. You're going to label this petal of you need. It's a flower. It's a petal flower, not a petal. You're going to label it little. Roots. When you draw 
draw the sun. We need sunlight. And we need water. And we're talking about water. You can do a cloud and have it green. And you're going to label water. I'm not sure. Is this a good pen? Can everybody see this pen or is this a bad pen? I can see it. Right away. Can everybody see it? We're looking for the first thing. For air and carbon dioxide, we have to put a motion and it's a wind. So we're going to call it carbon dioxide or CO2. Good. Water, sun, carbon dioxide, that's what they do. Then we have stem. Can I have stem? Leaf. If it's a flower, you put the petals. It has the soil and fruits. If you want to label a cup, you can label a cup and say space. Okay. Space. Good. Good everybody. And that concludes class today. You guys can go with your Google and hang out with your friends while you wait, or you guys can finish your pictures. All right? Hi, Saya. See everybody next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.